Hi guys, welcome to today's property tour. I'm stood in front of a luxury Grand Designs home perched on the Malvern Hills. It has four bedrooms and it's listed at £800,000 with Vanessa at Fine & Country Droitwich. Let's go and show you around. Okay, so we're starting at the front of the property and now if you're not familiar with the property you wouldn't even know it's here so it's accessed up via a private drive and it's completely in the trees this is like a childhood dream come true to have a tree house perched as your home um, we've got summer behind the camera today on the ground floor tour what do you think of the location some yeah no i think it's really cool like matt said it's literally like a tree house yeah it is, um, and the architecture and the way it's been constructed with the materials used really help just to let it kind of blend into the nature and blend into the surrounding. Yeah. So if we start off through this side, we've got part of the garden area. So part of the garden is in front of the property. You've got this courtyard style area here um, with these really cool rubber. So not actually stone, um, it's like a rubber effect. So they're kind of springy, aren't they? Yeah. Not felt them before. <laughs> and then there's other garden behind the property. So, yeah, as you come through here, you can see literally we're surrounded all the way around by trees and there is no direct neighbours or anyone to see. So it's a very, very private home and you can see it's built right into the cliff top. So the best part about that is the views that we have. And I can't wait to show you the views stretching all the way across the Melbourne Hills when we get upstairs. So let's get into the house and show you around. Okay guys, come on into the ground floor. So we have this floating staircase to the right of me and an exposed brick wall up there. The property has been completely refurbished throughout and it really has a modern contemporary vibe. So we're gonna head through to well, the first bedroom. So the property actually has three bedrooms on the ground floor and the master bedroom on the first floor and that's so that the upstairs living space can maximise the views. So this is one of the bedrooms, this is probably the second largest room, really nice size, certainly got space for a king bed in here. Okay so we have the wardrobe space to the left of me with a radiator and lights in as well. So you could put a bespoke fitted shelving system around here to add some wardrobe space and keep your bedroom minimalistic. But yeah, really, really nice size. You can see all the way around, we have large custom built windows, three over there and one behind me, which just really bring the outdoors in and make it feel like such a tranquil place to be. So I like what they've done there. In front of me here, we have the ensuite for this bedroom. So we've got a sink here, with a nice curved design over there, a mirror fitted on the top, and then toilet and a large standing shower behind me. You'll also see these radiators throughout the property. And again, really nice color, just sets it off, makes it a bit different to having normal white radiators there. Okay, so let's head into the rest of the ground floor. So just pausing here, on the right of me we have a large storage space with the consumer unit built in there. So perfect for storing a mountain bike or something because there's so many good trails and places to adventure around here. Coming through. We're back in the main entrance area of the property. So you've got a bit of space under the staircase. And then from here, we've also got another storage space which kind of makes up for a bit of a downstairs utility. You've got your boiler and your hot water tank in that side. And then just in front of me here, you've got a mini utility space. So you can have a bit of storage here. Maybe all your cleaning products and stuff like that. There's lots of great storage um, space in this property. It's well designed, isn't it? Yeah. So on the right is the downstairs WC for the property. So you've got a floating toilet there and the built-in floating vanity as well with some nice gray tiles to the back wall. Okay, on the left of me is, is the, the fourth. fourth. Yes, yeah, this is a fourth bedroom. So it's a single room, but if you just want the three large double bedrooms, um, you could, could be a nice study. Yeah, study, playroom, something like that. 
But again, you've also got these really large windows in here and you can just see into the trees. It feels really nice and private. Okay, next up we have the next bedroom. So this is probably bedroom number three. Um, and the next bedroom is on the top floor. So again, a decent double bedroom, two large windows over to the left of me. And then on the right, we have the ensuite for this bedroom, which is similar to the one on the other side. You've got a standing shower fitted there with a privacy window, floating toilet and floating sink vanity with the mirror that side as well. Okay, so next up we have the one last storage space here, again with some cleaning products in. So, if you're enjoying this tour guys, make sure to check out our channel and see more of our luxury property tours. Hit subscribe for more and like this video, we really appreciate it. We're saving the best to last on this tour, so Summer is gonna go show you the first floor now. Welcome to the open plan living kitchen area. So this is on the first floor and obviously Matt just showed you the bedroom. So it's kind of like the open plan kitchen and living area is on the first floor and the bedrooms on the um, ground floor. I mean, the best thing about this room are the floor to ceiling windows and you have got a panoramic view of in just incredible countryside views. And to the left, you can actually see all the way over to Birmingham. So that's pretty cool. Yes, yeah, so you can probably see 50, 60 miles across there. Yeah. Which is a long way. A long way. Um, and then coming through to the kitchen area of the room, Firstly, we've got a Miele four-ring induction hob and a bespoke glass backsplash. And it's green and purple, which is kind of quirky. I thought that was a nice touch. And then we've got a central island with lots of storage space throughout. It's a handleless um, designed kitchen, so minimal contemporary feel. This is the um, fridge and this is the freezer. We've also got a Miele oven and a Miele coffee maker here. But again, overall really nice kitchen. And coming to another area of the room, this space here would be ideal for maybe a bookshelf or a desk, but it's hidden away around the corner from the open plan space. And an interesting story about this property, it was actually um, a family owned property since the beginning. They bought it from when it was under construction um, around 1970, so 50 years ago. And it was owned by a former sculptress called Mary and her sons have now renovated the property and um, are looking to sell it. So it's got some nice history to the property, which I thought was interesting. But now let's head through to the master bedroom, which is on this floor. So this is the master. It's a similar size to the um, first bedroom Matt showed you downstairs. We've got a wardrobe space in here. So it's kind of like indented into the wall. So you'd have your wardrobes in here and then Coming through to the ensuite, we've got dual sinks and a bathtub here and two showers at the back. So, yeah. so although the bedroom's the same side, this ensuite is much yeah, bigger up here. Much Huge. bigger. And the views up here obviously are a lot better, so this would most likely be the master. And another incredible thing up here is the decked balcony. So this is the balcony to the property. We've got grey decking on the floor and this wooden banister, um, but the views up here are absolutely insane. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but if you're into the countryside, you will definitely love these views. Um, but yeah, there's actually another garden um, at the back of the property. Although we are basically perched on a hill, there is something around the back, so I'll show you that now. So 
guys, this is at the back of the property. You're literally on a cliff edge. Um, but yeah, you've got a bit of green space down here and the view straight in front of me. Um, let us know in the comments what you guys think to the property. And if you've enjoyed the tour, please remember to hit subscribe and like, and we'll see you in the next video.